Hello and welcome to another video from Midas Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we're looking at the 1986 release by FASA Corporation from the Citadel miniature range of Doctor Who uh, miniature uh, metal figures. Now, Citadel Miniatures was a subsidiary of Games Workshop and Games Workshop produced the Doctor Who role-playing game. And these figure sets uh, were released to coincide with the Doctor Who game uh, and to be sold alongside the game to add a, a depth of reality to the, uh, to the role-playing game. Um, there was um, about 14 sets, I think, that FASA released, um, which came in this um, tidy style box, as you can see in front of us. Um, there was also some released by Citadel. Um, I think they released about six sets, which was in a different um, pack. But anyway, we're concentrating on this one today, which is the um, FASA Sea Devil set, um, set number 9514. Um, and as you can see, um, it comes in the, the TARDIS-shaped box, and you have a window where you can see there's a sea devil um, through the window. And if I turn it around to the side, there's another one in the side window there to the left. And if we go around the other side, there is another one in the window to the right there. Okay. Um, and, of course, if I turn it around to the back... It says, Doctor Who miniatures, these 25mm white metal miniatures will add three-dimensional reality to your gaming or collection. Each figure was approved by the BBC and the actor or actresses themselves. So, that's the box that came in. Um, so, without further ado, let's open the box and have a look at the figures themselves. Okay, so I've removed the figures from the box. As you can see, you've got three uh, miniature uh, white metal figures there, all standard 25 centimeters tall um, and are unpainted. So let's have a look at the first one then. So this is the first figure. Um, and these these are obviously the classic Sea Devils from the um, John Pertwee era and again from the Peter Davison era. I don't think they appeared in Tom Baker era. Uh, but there you can see that's one of them, 25 millimeters tall, unpainted, so you can paint it um, to whichever colors and style you like. Um, here's the second figure. Um, this one's holding his weapon. Um, and again, 25 millimeters tall, um, unpainted, and wearing his classic uh, like um, netting robes, uh, which you see in the actual episodes of Sea Devil. Um, the Sea Devils from the John Pertry era. And finally, uh, the third one, uh, again, 25 millimeters tall, wearing a netting shirt. Um, and again, for you to paint at whatever colors and style you choose. So that's the three figures for these. Um, as I say, they were part of a, a series of about 14 different sets. And this is the final set that was released, which is set number 9514. Um, and these uh, these figures are becoming really difficult to find now. Um, you know, 30, 38 years on, they're extremely difficult to find, especially in this unused mint condition. Uh, but as usual, we at Midas Touch have managed to find a few, which are currently available for you to view and purchase on the Minus Touch website, which you can get to very simply by clicking the link below. It will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find these and many, many other vintage Doctor Who items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes onto the website. There will be something for everybody and I'm absolutely sure you won't want to miss them. So. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.